G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode and today we have a new app in the house, the new Microsoft 365 app that we can install as a PWA. Now, uh, PWA, Progressive Web App. Now, you may have seen um, in your 365 environment these little notifications saying that Office 365 or Office is moving to Microsoft 365 and you can see on the screen here these two little icons. So you can see the orange traditional Office 365 icon or Office icon moving across to this new brand, this new Microsoft 365 app. Well, you can actually install that as an app on your computer. Now, it gives you some quick, fast, easy access to the Microsoft 365 start page. So you don't have to open up the browser and then go through that way. You can actually install it as an app on your device, all right? So something I'm gonna be promoting as a quick and a first entry point into Microsoft 365 is this actual app itself. So we're gonna step through how we go about installing it so you can uh, start using it. So we can see here, my new URL, microsoft365.com. We click sign in, and then you're just gonna sign in as you normally would. Now, this part, you're gonna to get to the, the 365 start page, something that you've seen before, all right? So that doesn't change right now, um, but what we can do is, once we've logged in, we can then uh, install this as an app. All right, so let's have a look and see what that looks like. So we're just logging in here, taking a little bit of time on my machine. So let's just sign in. Should log me straight in and we are in. Now top right hand corner here in the address bar, we've got app available. Now we can click this and it's gonna tell us that we can install the Microsoft 365 app. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's click install. Now what happens? All right, so we're going to be able to pin this to the taskbar. We're going to be able to create a uh, desktop shortcut. And we're also going to be able to um, make this um, start up when you log in. Okay, so we can see here, the app is now installed. We can pin it to the taskbar. We can pin it to the start bar. We can create a desktop shortcut and we can auto uh, start this on device login. All right, so let's click allow and we are good to go. I'm gonna close the browser behind and we've got our app. So I've got our PWA, we've got the Microsoft 365 app installed. Okay, so we can navigate our way around, we can go to our OneDrive, our Outlook, our Teams, all that sort of stuff. Now some of these open up in the web browser, all right, so it'll take you out of this PWA, open up in the web browser, for example, Outlook. If we click Outlook, you can see that I'm taken out into the browser, all right? But other applications, stay inside this little progressive web app, okay? We can minimize it, we can we can then uh, you know drag this around, we can pin it, um, split screen, we can do whatever we need to do. Now, I'm gonna close this. You can see that I've pinned it to the taskbar and I've got a shortcut on the desktop. So now, all we need to do, rather than firing up the browser um, and that type of thing, we just click it, we open it. It's nice and quick and fast to log in and open up for us. So there we have it. You can go ahead now and install the Microsoft 365 app, um, the PWA or Progressive Web App. It's a nice, great entry point into Microsoft 365. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.